and you're supposed to work on that script. And at the end of the day, we go on location, we do our post-production, and something comes out that we can watch. First thing is this. When, we're, when we, the scripts are out, we're going to break ourselves into different crews, okay? We will be assigned responsibilities. The key people now that will do most of the running around. Now, film, motion pictures, animation, whatever it is, it's a creative endeavor. But it's a creative endeavor that requires time, money, and people. To manage it now is very important. And sometimes we make that mistake. We think our creative efforts will make us succeed. No. There's a method to that madness. And it's that method that is the key thing. Yes, it's a creative work. But it requires good managerial skills to make this thing work. Are we on the same page? All right. So first thing is what we call uh, the script breakdown. Why this is important is that you need to shoot. You have a certain amount of money. You have a limited amount of time. So you need to shoot within your budget, and you need to shoot within schedule. All right? So that is why it's important to have a script breakdown. What does that mean now? Um, those of you who are going to be the production managers, the assistant directors, the producers, this is very important. First thing, once we get our script, okay, we need to make sure we understand what is in that script. What do we need? All right? Is, is if, there's a, if, it's a, if it's an actual movie, the first scene, what, are we using guns? What kind of guns? If it's in a hostel, what do we need? Are we beds? Are they going to be available? Um, is somebody going to walk in and pick up a cup? All right? Are cups needed? Are spoons needed? These are the things that, that's why it's important. It's, you log in each significant element of a scene into a breakdown sheet. Now, what happens is that once you understand what you need, you can be able to communicate with everybody in every department. All right? You cannot be able to effectively budget except you know what you need in the production. So this is very important. Um, you cannot schedule if you do not know what is in your production. So this script breakdown helps you to identify what the production needs as stated by the script. Let's say now, um, my first scene is going to be an accident early in the morning. All right? I can't just get a camera and get actors and then say, okay, we're going to look for two people and two cars and then make sure there's an accident. No. What that entails is that in logging, in, in breaking down your script, you need to make sure that you know how many cars are needed and you, like, you get those cars. What kind of cars? Is it an SUV hitting a jalopy? What kind of jalopy? What kind of SUV? Now, yes, it's early in the morning, but are there going to be people? How many people? Is there going to be a traffic warden? Will there be police? Will there be thugs? Okay? As it's determined by the script, not as it enters your head. All right? So that's the importance of trying to log and get a breakdown script. Um, script. All right? It helps you also to determine log logistics, what you need, and if there might be a problem, all right, easily, you can easily identify what that problem is if you're, break, if you're successfully broken down your script. Let's say now you're shooting early in the morning. What that means is that maybe it might be difficult to move people. Maybe you might need a little lighting because, I mean, the sun is still up. And that means maybe you need to get up very earlier, earlier than normal. Two, three, four, people should be there and set up before the sun rises. So these are the things that help you when you identify the items you need in your script. All right, so how do you go about it now? When we get our scripts, okay, group members, first things first, we need to read and understand what the story is. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to motion pictures, story is king, all right? Whether you're doing a documentary, whether it's a feature film, whether it's a TV series, whether it's animation, whatever it is, the story is key, key all right? The story is king. So when you read it again, you have a grasp of your story, now you read it now as managers which means you are reading to understand what does this story entail, all right? That's what we're going to do. It's a practical uh, lesson that we're going to do, all right? You need to understand now, is this story simple? Is this story large? Is, this, is, is it within our scope? Because let's say now the story entails us shooting in a market, a very busy market. Do we have the time, all right? 
Do we have the resources? These are things we will identify from the script immediately. Then, of course, make sure that it's well formatted. I am sure in your script writing class, they told you that there's a specific international professional format for script writing. Now, even if you're administrators, your production managers, you need to understand that formatting, how it's done, all right? There's a precise way to do it. That way, you could be able to. Now, the next thing is, make sure you know all the scene numbers, scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four. Some writers, script writers, you notice don't put scene pages. So that is what we're going to do now. The production managers, the ADs, once we get our screenplay, if the scene numbers are not there, we're going to mark those scene numbers, right? Um, number three is a bit technical, so we're going to do it practically. There's a way you time a script. You might find that you have four scenes, three scenes. Anyway, we'll do that practically, so let's just leave that out. Sorry. Can we? All right. Good. Next, when we've gotten our uh, page count, we we'll need to understand those elements now that we've identified. We get our screenplay. Is there a car? We mark it. Um, our keys needed as props, we mark them with different colors. All right? The elements, when we're about to shoot, we bring out the breakdown sheet so that you understand all those elements. But basically, there are things like your props, um, your cast, what kind of cast are needed, those things. Somebody touching this thing or what? Okay, all right. Next thing, we need to know our scheduling. How many days are we shooting? Where and where are we going to shoot? What and what are we supposed to do? Now, um, the schedule is, there are three types of schedules, anyway, that you know to understand. One is the production schedule. Second one is the shooting schedule. Three is the call sheet, all right? Now, the first one, the production, sheet, uh, the production schedule, this is a plan for the whole production, all right? Uh, and it's supposed to have started when we started writing our script. We should know that, okay, we're shooting to, tomorrow, we're shooting the day after tomorrow, and then maybe we might shoot again, pick up shots, then we're editing for two days. So we just have it, okay, with the dates and everything. That covers the whole production. Now, the next one is the shooting schedule. This covers only one day. That means if we're shooting tomorrow, we have the whole production, we know what we're shooting for that length of time. But then tomorrow, what are we shooting tomorrow? What are we shooting the day after tomorrow? What scenes are we shooting? What do we need? Okay? All it's, it's, not, it's not magic, it's not rocket science. The idea is that you're just planning. You need to know when you're shooting so that whatever uh, equipment you need will be available. If you're going to use drone shots, there's no need of you renting drone shots for whole six days when you're going to use it for one day. All right? So this is how it works. It's just about planning. Now, your shooting schedule covers one day. Now, the one you find out with these two schedules, the production schedule and the shooting schedule, is that they are malleable, they're flexible, anything can happen. We might decide to shoot tomorrow. What if it rains, all right? That means we need to change, okay? So, all right, we might decide we need a particular car and then it's not available. We need to change. So what happens is that every day again, before at the evening, before we shoot the next day, Yes, we have a shooting schedule that says this. We have an independent um, production schedule that covers everything. But we might decide to shoot tomorrow and something is not available. 
So at the end of the day, there should be a call sheet, which that one is definite. You know who is going to be available, who is not going to be available. It's something you do at the end of the day, all right, so that you don't make any changes. The first two are changeable. They're flexible. Anything can happen. The whole production sh uh, schedule, and then the shooting schedule, and then the call sheets. All this we're going to do practically on your groups. We're going to get a whole production schedule, we're going to get a shooting schedule, and we're going to get a call sheet. All right. Next is this. Of course, you can't shoot from with sand. All right. You need money. In production management, there's what they call six M's. All right. Um, you need to know, you need to have your manpower, you need to have your machines, you need to have your materials, you need to know the market you're taking your product to, you need to um, have, um, well, the important one is M. The important M is money. Because without, it's the lubricant now that makes things work. But then, the money you're going to get is limited. All right? I might say, okay, we're going to shoot, and the only thing available is a million naira. Meanwhile, when you look at the script, what it entails is probably 10, to 10 million naira. All right? How do you work with that? You need to get a budget, and then you need to make estimates now. And now that budget will guide you. You know, economics, there's what they call opportunity cost. So you might say, okay, instead of getting too many props, let me tone down the props, all right? And since I need a lot of cast, let me push the money towards the cast, all right? Another thing might be, okay, some equipment are needed, and it's, we must get it. If not, we cannot achieve what the director's vision. So what do we do? I'll look at the whole budget, in the elements I'm going to create, I'll decide, okay, maybe, maybe we should just reduce the cast, all right? So money saved now will go into this. This is how it works. Yes, this film is creative, but also it entails money. And at the end of the day, somebody needs to make a profit. Or somebody, you need to, if it's even a, it's a commission job and it's not for profit, but whatever it is, the ideals of that production need to be met. And they can only be met if you do proper planning by a schedule and also a budget, all right? So the budget is simply just a cost plan. It is an estimate on what will be sent, spent on the film. It's the framework for all decisions regarding the film, all right? So every element, all right, they are above the line, the ones that you cannot do without, the producer, the writer, the actor, the below the line, these are the equipment now, which is quite expensive. Equipment, um, the rest of the crew, some of the cast, et cetera, et cetera. Things that were going to have might, you know, that be needed. Production, post-production costs will also be there. Usually in a professional uh, budget, which I don't expect us to do here, there's what they call a top sheet. That is a summary of everything. Most times, what when you tell people to do a budget, what they actually do is just the top sheet. They just say, okay, equipment, this amount, this thing, this amount. But ideally, it's supposed to be broken down. All right? So your full budget will have a breakdown, but that summary, that top sheet, is supposed to just, okay, equipment, this is the amount. But a social page, when you open, you will see all the equipment you need, all the materials you need for the equipment. Okay, the same thing. When you see cast, there's an amount to it. But when you open the page where cast is, it identifies each cast member that will be needed. Same thing for crew, like that. That's how it works. But we might not do that. We'll just get a simple budget, maybe something that will work like a top sheet, a summary of the entire budget, and work with it. All right, I think with that, we are ready to divide ourselves into groups and then we're ready to shoot. Now, um, a second part of this is now the hands-on. I'll still go around each of the groups and then we'll do something that'll be more hands-on, okay? Practical now. All right. Um, okay, since our moderator is not here. Any questions? Thank you very much. My, my question, I have two questions. What's the difference between managing resources in film production and mising resources? As the case may be in, with some production managers or line producers when it comes to pr providing resources from different departments and they tell you, go and improvise, go and improvise, instead of providing the resources that is either available or is supposed to be available. That's uh, one. 
The second question has to do with the script supervisor. At what point is the script supervisor coming in in the pre-production as relates to production manager and the line producer or the producer himself? Um, sorry, can we get back the... Hello? Okay, so let, before this thing comes on, one is what's the difference between managing resources and mising resources? It's the difference between being a professional and a non-professional. You know, some people don't understand that these things are costly, just like building a house. I mean, it will only be a silly person that will decide to minimize costs. No, what you do, you maximize. Okay, uh, instead of me building a four bedroom, if I don't have costs, I'll sit down with the architect and plan. All right, why don't we just do it this way, this way, this way? Instead of a large um, car space, if the costs are not available, the land is not available, uh -huh, why the, but you won't say, oh, no, because I don't want to spend money. I won't dig a deep foundation. All right? That's the mistake that people make. A film, filmmaking is a project. All right? You need to manage your resources very well. You need, to manage, you need to manage your people. You need to lead them very well and understand their different capabilities. All right? And different talents. Because one thing about film, it, brings out, it, brings out, it comes with people with different talents. All right? The artists are there. The artisans are there who will build your sets, okay, who will even sew your clothes. Um, the actors are there. The managers are there. The technical people now are there. Those ones, and all of them have their own different peculiarities. So you need to understand them, all right? And you do that by managing them well, managing what is available, managing your time. But minimizing, when you see people mising, it's out of greed, it's out of uh, professionalism, yeah. They're just trying to save costs. No, you don't save costs. What you do, you transfer costs. That is why that budget is important. If instead of I don't have money to do this, okay, let me remove money from here, and, but you don't try and save money, no. Um, you were saying something about the, this is actually a very long uh, presentation, but we, just, we decided to just stop somewhere. Now, where does the, where does the script supervisor come in, all right? Basically, when it comes to production management, we say there are five stages. Normally, people will tell you there are three stages, pre-production, production, post-production. Post -production. But as producers, production managers, we have to identify um, two more stages, maybe three more stages. One is that it's not every time that you write a script and you go and shoot, all right? There's a term they call development hell. So sometimes, most productions end up like that. You have a script, yes, it's beautiful. That doesn't mean that you have the resources to shoot. All right? So, usually we have that development stage, which is where you get your idea, you do your treatment, you develop the script, you develop the budget, you pitch the project, and if you're lucky, you get the finances, then you're ready to shoot. The thing is that most people confuse the other one now, pre-production, all right? It's there under. They confuse pre-production for development. They start gathering people when they don't have the money or the, time or the resources to shoot, and then they waste their time. So that development stage has a few people, maybe the scriptwriter, of course, definitely the producer who is trying to look for resources, and sometimes the director, sometimes, just so that they can sharpen the vision. But you don't tie people down when you don't have money. Pre-production now, you're planning to shoot. Everything, you have gotten everything. Like us now, we have probably gotten all our resources. Now we're into pre-production, okay? The script is ready. I'm sure the money is ready somewhere. So equipment are ready. <laughs> so we're ready to shoot. So this is now we start casting now. All right? So I'm not casting down without crewing. So this is where now the script supervisor will come in. All right? Because what the person does at the end of the day is just to be there when they're shooting. Because that is the eye of the director, not the AD, like people think. That is the script supervisor who make sure, okay, we're sticking. If it's something that you cannot ad lib, you're sticking to the dialogue. All right? The props are supposed to be are supposed to be there. We're just following the script as it was meant to be followed. So you don't tie that person. You bring the person during your pre-production. Any other question? Good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Sir, so, I uh, want to have, ask a question, sir. Uh, so, uh, the managerial team has, do, has a lot to do with professionalism and trust in terms of hiring who to be given a job of a film, as a filmmaking. Yes, sir. So, uh, it's known that uh, the director 
also the DOP are known as the stakeholders in filmmaking, which it is believed that before hiring them, such persons are actually uh, expected to must have understand what uh, does the managerial work its people. Uh, I think by and large, what he's basically trying to say is that the, there's always this ego problem between the DOP and the director, and it usually happens. It's usually, I think, it's really an uh, unprofessional conduct if you see somebody behaving like that because um, when it comes to production, the head is the director, all right? That is the person now that is going to, well, I'm of a different school of thought. I don't believe that the film is a director's own. I still, I believe it's the production the producer's own. That's, but that is it's subject to the um, to argument, you understand? Uh -huh. But a lot of people think, but first of all, somebody actually has a project in mind and knows what to do with the project and hires a director. Now, you are the creative head, all right? You are the creative lead. Now, bring together all your people and let us move. So that means there has to be planning at first, not with everybody. Now, nobody, nobody is, uh, is more important than anyone, who, even the director, because no matter what, you need a good production designer, you need a good DOP, even the gaffers, everybody down top to bottom, everybody, it's a collaborative process. It's not like somebody painting an artwork or doing a sculpture, no. You are collaborating with everybody. So first and foremost, there's a single unified vision, all right, which is transmitted to everyone by the producer. You understand it, starting from the genre, what kind of thing is it? What kind of, who are, what are we expecting to do with this film? Now the director will go and sit down with his crew members and try and make this thing happen. There has to be understanding. You can't go on set and start fighting. It happens, I even had a recent, but I just had to cancel it. But it's just about understanding. It's like, it's ego. But when you're working, you really need to put down your ego. This is teamwork. It's not, you're not painting a single, you're, you're not a painter, okay? You're not, a draw, you're not an artist, you're not drawing something, you're not a sculpture. Uh -uh. You need everybody. So it has to be a collaborative process. You kill your ego and then work for the production. Any other question? Good morning, everybody. My name is Patience. Sabi, I want to ask in film, as in based on script writing, is there a particular format or the format is uh, the same? I don't know. Um, there's a professionally accepted format, okay? And with everything, because anybody that is in motion pictures, when it, he or she picks up that screenplay, should be able to know what to do, okay? I pick it up as a producer. If it's well formatted, I should be able to identify my needs. As a production manager, I should easily be able to budget these things. Because, you know, those when we talk about budgeting, understanding those elements, it's because of that format now. It's easy to do that. As a camera person, when I see it, I know the challenges each scene will give me, all right? As a set designer, I understand what will be needed. As a cast member, I know when I'll be professional or not. First of all, by the formatting. Nobody will even attend to your work if it's not properly formatted. And it's very important. A lot of people take that for granted. Anybody? I can take a bow and leave, I guess. <laughs> All right. Oh, see you later. Um, una well done. Um, what it go happen now? Be say we go get to work. So, like I advised earlier, one group will have to face this side, then the other group this side, and as much as possible, let's sit in circles. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand me? And I will not pick your seats for you now. So pick your seats by yourself. Be nice, be kind, be calm. And uh, let's, let, let, let's sit around. The two groups, the way it was shared, team by team. You know which team you belong to. Or maybe I have to read the list for you. Let's get to work. Let us get to work. Let's start to make film. Can we get to work? 
by standing up, sitting with your group members. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, Pace Film Academy. Pace Film Academy. Now, Group A will sit on this side and face this way. Group B, this axis, and face that way so that we will not disturb each other. You, you know what I'm saying, right? Pace Film Academy, Group A, Theophilus Nikelis, Tina Magdalene Samuel, Group A, Pace Academy, Pastor Felix Haniosa, David Luca. You are in group A, the A group. Did you hear your names? Thank you. Then group B, Pace Film Academy, Enoch Kefas, Mikailu Rehinatu, Samuel Gloria Chima Chiamaka, Samuel Gloria Chiamaka. For Kaduna State University participant, group A, Timothy Irimia, Edith Aldo, Nelson Deborah, Blessing Peter, Raphael Uwakwe, George Bege, Isaac Nwora, Cardinal State University. Group B, Cardinal State University, Rejoice Kantoma, Adetunji David, Limida Simon, Johanna Josephine, Zainab John, Robert Jeremiah, Austin Sunday. I hope you heard your names, the Cardinal State University uh, participants. Did you hear your names? Please, you will fall into your group. Let's go. For the University of Abuja team, Marcus Benjamin, Group A, Marcus Benjamin. Olua Dabilare Emmanuel, Innocent Prosper Etuk, Obi Benedict Emeka, Peter Emmanuel. That's Group A, Project A. Group B, University of Abuja, Francis James, Peter Joy, Oji Mata, Awotunde Victor. Babalola Oluwatobi, the Abuja University team, the two groups. The National Film Institute team, Fidelis J. Okun, team one, uh, or A, Nimye Nantim Johnson, Victoria Augustine Ishabo, Atashib Josephine Dauda, Kochili Victoria Sunday, Gowon Faith, Jankanwa Antonia Solomon, Ayeni Adenike Lucy, Josiah Jennifer Kacholom, Walshak Ibrahim, Rachel Gian, John Deborah, Ene Patrick Oche, that's for the National Film Institute team. The second group, that's B group now for the National Film Institute undergraduate stream. Manasseh Samuel, Nwachuku Godwill, Matthew Bamun, Iwa Alaha, Angel Gabriel, Michael Ote. What is it? That is his name. <laughs> Angel Gabriel, your name is causing crisis here. They, they don't believe that that's your name. <laughs> Angel Gabriel, Michael Ote, 
Oluwa ti bi leyin Karim. Okay Joshua, Emmanuel Alohun, Patience da 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 pick. Lawrence Juliet Tioma, Omo Roguna Fortune, Lovely Monday, Susan Ebuara, Wambuda Nam Nameture. Lot Felix, Christabel George, Kukiem Iyako, James Moses, Kangeha, Dauda Grace, Okeke Ezechim, John Rintuan Faith, Queen Anna, Azi A. Samuel, Owolabi Taufik Shola, Matthew Ayuba. Wow. Joseph Wajal. Madweke Ugochi Okechuku. Africa's Film and Media Academy. Group A members. Bakut Nora. Mba Shedrak. David Buluatife. Akin Yode Akin. Justina Joshua. Ibo Harry Wills. Emmanuel Jude. Israel John. Warner Patrick AJ. Group B, Africa's Film and Media Academy. Peter Obi. Peter Obi, that is his name. Paloma Dixon. <laughs> Banaji Joseph. Awe Samuel. Akindele Timilei. Johnson J. Michael Bernard. Joshua Ikianga. Obase Oye Mbang. Mary Arike. Uh, the NFI PG stream, I have not seen your list. And that, you should have been here before now. That, that's like three hours ago. That's not nice. That's very, very not nice. Yes, the Unijos team. The Unijos team, are we together? Group A, Ihena Jo Iwoha. Ayobami Akmomade. Taraka Miriam Shidon. Yes. Uh, Taraka Miriam Shido. That's the Unijos team, please. Sunday Agbaji Abakba. Miriam Ali. Oluwati Milenyi Miriam Suleiman. Oluwa Logbon Samuel. Adagwe Cabo Emmanuel. Group B, Unijos. Joshua Truma Lurumi. Grace Danjuma, Peter, Joy Doy, Ruth Edward, Anyawo Johnson, Chinedo, Dan Jemima, Choi, is it Choi Jo, Unwaret Dung Danladi, Abimbola Adedara, Likita Andrew, Ubo Bishaw, Igbedo, that's for uh, Unijos. The NTA TV College, I can find your list here. Now, the two streams of the PG program of the National Film uh, Institute. Group A, Rehoboth, Eyia Romi, Johnson Saleh, Osho Abiodun, Emmanuel Zira, Selman Mandip, Joaquin Godwin, Joachim Godwin, Tengia Steven, Brian Lan, Solomon Kiari, Nanlop Ayuba, Diron A, Evelyn Iyang, Patrick Kume, Bishop Gift, Ajoke Ayola, Mercy Oga, Mark Robert Mansigno, Chukuma Esteri. Group B, Barnabas Saleh, Nimfuk Blessing, Lois Bewarang, Tim Chan Miri, Unwaneka Oliwe, 
Collins Anthony, Solomon Idio, Agati Mercy, Dominion R, Love Day Emeka, no first name Tapse. No first name Tapse. Taiwo Oluyomi, Patience Onojeme, Lilian Yepui, Lasisi Grace, David Aqua. <clears throat> The NTA TV College participant. Group A, Innocent Obioma Otuonye, Aminu Ali Nakande, Abba Adamo Matayas, Markwell Gold, Gian, Longtan Gloria, Egu Elizabeth Ugo, Edigwiri Ufoma Rejoice, Miracle Robinson. For the NTA TV College uh, uh, Project A. Project 2, NTA TV College, Jinam Timothy, Bahago, Alex Gamalie, Ata Bernard Ochai, Ade Doin Debora, Ade Agbo Victor, Bulus Atang, Ustata Umanuela, Doreen Iyoakan, Yahaya Agbaji. Yahaya Agbaji, your name is hereby removed from this list. Thank you. Uh, there could be a few of you. Uh -huh. I know. <laughs> imagine telling, imagine. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Abia team. The Abia team. Project A. Please listen to your names. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Project A. Obasi Obasi Agu. Obasi Obasi Agu. Mercy Obasi. Peter Okeke Uma. Ifanyi Chuku. Sopuruchi Uche. That's group A for the Abia State Team. Group B, Kalu Chinasa, Adeze Agu Obasi, Baron Joshua, Cynthia Tony, Oyechi Agu, and Ebere Egbe Kalu. Ebere Egbe Kalu. Tampan. Eh? Tampan FCT. Tampan FCT. Yes. Bingham University, Binghan University, Group A members, Esther Ozomena, Michael, first name, no surname, Judith Isa, Group B, Sylvester, no other name, Sini, no other name, Kelvin, no other name. Uh, this says something, the members of the Bingham University. You need to get to know each other very well before we could know you and be able to work with you. So, uh, I beg, whoever brought this, please come back, put their names. Let us know their appropriate names. This is not, it's not too nice. You don't know each other. How do we get to actually really know you and be able to work with you? Come and put their soul names for us. Thank you. Then, uh, Tampan, FCT, Abuja. Group 1, Rahim Ojonla, Arole Surajuddin. Shangoni Samuel, Yetunde Jamil, Olaide Akim. You are members of Group 1, Project 1. Group 2, uh, Group B, Project 2. Ajulo Oluatoyi Mamaji. Fayintola Temitokwe, Olaiton S. Olaniye, Abigail Tonsin, Shola Fadaonsi, Tola Giwa. Ladies and gentlemen, huh? you know, bring your name with that now. You did. You did. Who you, did. you, you give? Did. <laughs> okay. Now, HPMO, Imo North. HPMO, Imo North. Chike Z, Ike Chuku Bright, Group 1. Andy Madwe, Madwako, Group 1. Chidima, Ike Zim. Group one, group two or group B, Ume Zurike Rosemary, Ifanyi Upabia, Chukwe Meka Ukaigwe, that's uh, group group B. Crescent University, Abel Okuta. Are we together? I hope you are listening. Good. Oolabi Ajasa, group one. Adeshegum Emmanuel Adeshina, group one. Adeniji Lukman Idowu, Group 1. Femi Sholaja, Group 2. No? Sholaja Femi Simon, Group 2. 
Adejimi, Nasru, Adebayo, Group 2 or B, as the case may be. There could be a few people whose names are not here. Maybe you are not representing uh, educational institution or studios or association. If your name is not here and you have been a participant, in the next one minute, let us meet so that we can put you in a group. Immediately after now, now wow. Legendary movie production, Abuja. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, legendary movie production house, Abuja. Diggy Chris, group one. Jennifer Danjuma, group one. Uh, Akume Ikechuku, group one. Ekeocha Angel, group one. Linda Godwin, group one. Oye Kachi Success, oh, group one. Joy Eze, group one. Ikechuku Emmanuel, group one. Enival Ogbada, Group 1. Agwoncha Cole A, Group 1. Emmanuel Favor, Group 1. Group 2 for uh, Legendary Movie Production, Abuja. Favor Agu, Group 2. Poguche Elisha, Group 2. Peter Adigbava, Group 2. Christy Onuibo, Group 2. Monday Goodness, Group 2. Dokas Jachat, Group 2. Okoye Iman Daniel Chimobi, Group 2. Zama Gift Sunday, Group 2. Danjuma Francisca, Group 2. Steven Owan, Group 2. Samuel Abigail, Group 2. Favor Uche Emmanuel, Group 2. Onu, Onu Kore Jubril, Group 2. That is for legendary movie, uh, movie production, Abuja. You, we will sort that one out later. You understand? You should have done that before now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please, you now know the group to which you belong. We are going to make use of this same environment to start holding our meetings immediately. Bearing in mind the fact that as from one o'clock, we have to leave this place and do a little bit of storming and sightseeing of this uh, uh, beautiful Abuja city. We are not babies. Let's do the needful. Thank you very much. Immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kutashi kuwa eje wurinshi.
Boom. 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 Boom.